What's going on everyone? A ton of people got some excellent, exciting information for the Scream 5 trailer. The trailer was officially shown for the first time at Cine Europe. Now, I'm sure many of you are upset because we didn't get it at Cinecon and, and many people thought it was going to be a part of the Paramount panel and unfortunately it wasn't. My honest opinion, I think that tells me that the trailer was not ready at that time because I think that perhaps they would have shown it unless their, their true intentions from the jump were to have it attached to the 25th anniversary release, which again makes sense as well. But many people got to see this trailer and the reviews have been nothing but positive. People are really excited. Um, I wanted to read a couple of these little informational tweets. Uh, again, I have a Twitter now officially. Uh, I finally jumped on board. Many of you asked for it. So be sure to follow me on Twitter. I might as well plug it since I made it. Uh, it's uh, Fate Decided YT. That's my uh, at on Twitter. I hope to see many of you on there. But back to the main point. We got the trailer and that's exciting. Obviously it's supposed to be released here in the States on October 10th. I'll be there for the 25th anniversary. So I'm definitely excited to finally see that trailer because again, many people that have seen it have all said it is incredible and it was worth the wait. Such as Amber Freeman 198 here. Uh, she states that yes, it has been this morning around 12.30 p.m. here at the Barcelona Forum, which is a huge building by the sea here in Barcelona. It was crowded and there was a woman, Mary, question mark, and a gentleman, don't remember the name, as the directors representing it. It's really, really, really worth the wait. And many other people have stated the same thing. I've seen it on Twitter because, again, now I have a Twitter and various other forums and groups that I'm a part of as far as Scream goes. So it's really exciting. That that gives me a lot of hope and excitement for it. Um, I wish that somebody, not, not to spoil the trailer, but just say if there was any significant information. Like just say like, hey, just so everyone knows, the trailer actually has like spoilers and information about the film. I would have really enjoyed to kind of get that information. Obviously, I'm going to see it regardless because if you are part of this channel, you know I cover pretty much everything in regards to Scream. So I don't have a problem with it, but I know many people do. I know many people are afraid of spoilers uh, in the trailer and sort of seeing a trailer as like a cliff note version of the film. But so at the actual panel, it seems that those included family pics of Rumble and Clifford the Big Red Dog uh, and the extended look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I know many people were hoping for that even at the uh, Paramount panel for Cinecon uh, and we didn't get that. Well, it looks like we got it for that as well. Um, also uh, tuning up was the worldwide debut of the trailer for the next continuation of the horror franchise Scream. And that was the big key piece of information that everyone was sort of <clears throat> waiting around for and hoping for. Um, and it's nice that we finally were able to get that. Um, hopefully there's nothing like major spoilerish on it. Hopefully nobody has sort of spoiled that because you know how it goes. People see, especially large bodies of people, usually somebody sort of ruins it for everybody. So hopefully that wasn't the case for this trailer. I haven't seen anything yet. Um, I kind of looked into it because, you know, I cover some spoilers here on this channel. Um, so I wanted to kind of see what was going on with that. But regardless, obviously, they're, they're really ramping up this campaign tour. Um, I got to do another video uh, probably tomorrow because I saw some posts about Scream being incorporated in Call of Duty. Um, but I haven't had the time to actually look into that and see, like, what that is. If that's, like, a campaign promotion for Scream 5 or it's just, like, some random thing. Um, so definitely look out for that video. But again, they're doing a phenomenal job with marketing and promoting this film in general. I mean, obviously the Dewey promotion, you got the hype and surrounding the trailer. We've gotten little subtle Easter eggs, Twitter. Every day we get a new sort of Easter egg and little like ominous clue. We got the seven blood drops yesterday. We got the six blood drops today. So they're obviously counting down to something. Many people speculate that it is the actual trailer. Um, which would mean that that would be the trailer probably online, um, which is fine because the, the trailer comes out on the 10th, as we know, for the 25th anniversary release here in the States, and that'll be the earliest version of the trailer for like the general audience. Obviously, the trailer was shown at this uh, Cine Europe, so many people got to see it, uh, but for the general audience, the people that can go and see it on their own, 25th anniversary here in the States on the 10th, wherever you're at worldwide as far as the country goes, uh, wherever, whenever your 25th anniversary release, that's when you'll be able to go and see the trailer as well because it'll be attached 
to that film. So the countdown with the blood could very well be that it is the countdown to the online trailer because many people, uh, even down in the comment section, we've had discussions and talks about it. Many people want to know, like, when are we getting the trailer online? And I've said that it makes sense to just release the trailer on the same time as October 10th, just because you know somebody is going to release that trailer on their own. So my sort of thinking is why not get ahead of that? Why not just put out an official trailer? That way you get the eyeballs, you get the discussion, you get the hype and media. But at the same time, they are trying to make it an exclusive for those that go see the 25th anniversary. So I understand that sentiment. I don't think the trailer being online is going to deter anyone from going and seeing the 25th anniversary. I mean, most of us already have our tickets and those that are going to go see it, we're going to go see it regardless. I mean, even if I didn't have my tickets already, I would go see it, even if the trailer was online. Obviously, I, that gives me uh, an earlier head start on making content for the trailer for here on this channel, but I'm going to see the 25th anniversary for that movie, for that film. Yes, of course, I'm excited and thrilled and cannot wait to see the lights go out, see that trailer come on the big screen. You know, I'll be, uh, you know, fangirling my way through that whole thing. I am super excited for that, but... I don't think it's a deterrent either way, but they're clearly counting down something. So whatever that may be, which would make sense that it'd be the trailer. Uh, I mean, we'll find out in six days now. So, I mean, talk about the anticipation. And again, shows an excellent marketing ploy. They are doing a phenomenal job just building up this anticipation, building up this angst and, and just getting us like on the edge of keeping us really on the edge of our seats this entire time this entire way as they as we navigate and wait for the official release and and then once the trailer drops i don't expect that to be the be all end all it's very likely we'll get another teaser or trailer uh, as it gets closer to the film which again i'm excited for we still need an official poster uh which i'm excited for hopefully we get that hopefully it'd be really cool if we got that for the 25th anniversary, because I would imagine they're going to give away some mementos. They're going to give some away something for, you know, the fans and the people that paid to actually take home and see. Uh, so hopefully we get something, you know, I, it's very likely that it's pertaining to the 25th anniversary and just a generic scream sort of like, here you go type thing. But it would be kind of cool to get something for like Scream 5. Like I said, even just an official poster, pump a bunch of those out, give those out to people. And then, you know, you can show it. I could even hand it up. Uh, that could be my background for like a month. <laughs> and uh, that'll be exciting. Um, but nonetheless, again, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, they're, they're doing a phenomenal job just just with the marketing. I mean, the marketing team that is on this is, they definitely know what they're doing. Paramount is doing a fantastic job just building that anticipation. Uh, unlike any screen we've seen before it. Um, I made a video sort of diving into that uh, I highly recommend you check it out because uh, it just gave information and examples of of Scream 4 compared to now. And, of course, social media plays a huge part in it because social media is such a huge aspect of life in today's time. But nonetheless, it, it's still really, uh, it's really exciting to see that they're really taking the time and making the efforts to to give us this this quality exposure till till the film happens to build up that anticipation to get us hyped and there it, all of that is very key and means a lot in my opinion it, it adds value and 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 excitement to the actual film because it shows like if they're putting the effort into the marketing that tells me that they definitely took the time and put the effort into the film itself um, so I'm really excited for that. But as always, this is a discussion and I want to hear from you. Um, what do you think? What do you think the countdown is as far as the blood drops go? Do you think that it is the trailer? Uh, what do you think about the uh, the actual showing at uh, Cine Europe? Are you, are you kind of salty about it? You know, I'm not going to lie. I kind of am a little bit um, just because I would have liked some information back there. But, you know, I'd love to hear from you. And if anyone's watching this video and you were actually there at the screening, don't spoil anything for anybody, please, because um, I do have a large majority of my audience that do not like spoilers, so please don't spoil anything, but I would love to hear um, sort of a generic rundown, you know, of like what your overall opinion was. Um, if you can do that without spoiling anything, I would truly appreciate it. Um, I could even do like a, a video or something 
um, talking about it and highlighting your comment. Uh, I'd really be thankful for that. Again, uh, don't forget to like this video. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. If you can, go follow me on Twitter. Let's blow that Twitter up a little bit. I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, I literally made it at like, I don't know, 11 p.m. last night uh, just because so many people have asked me for it. So you finally got the Twitter. I'd appreciate you uh, going and following me there on Twitter. I'll even put the at down in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, follow by the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Stay up to date with all things Scream. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.